Maria, and this is Shop Talk, guys. Shop Talk was created to discuss views and opinions often discussed in a barbershop or a salon setting. We also advertise for businesses, and if you have something juicy going on, hit your girl up and I'm going to get you on the show. So, today we're going to be discussing a couple things. So, first for Valentine's, just to put you guys on, you know, what makes a woman lose interest faster. So we're going to discuss that. We're going to discuss once you're married and you know, and you have kids and say one of your kids' father is absent. Is your new spouse supposed to take full responsibility of all the kids, this, um, including kids that's not his? So we're going to chop it up about that too as well. So and is it okay for you to give your child that man's last name? So we're going to chop it up about that. So first, let's start with this. What would make a woman lose interest faster in a man? Is it to lose a job and now he's broke? Is it consistent weak sex? Or is it <laughs> lack of attention? So we have so many people that really favor C, lack of attention, and B, consistent weak sex. So that meaning that sex is more important than a man being broke and lack of attention is more important than a man being broke. So let's chop it up about that. I thought that was not saying strange, but I think it shows you how time change and how women now don't need a man for financial well-being. You know, we now need men for um, emotional purposes, physical purposes, is no longer to really provide. You know, it's more or less to, um, <laughs> to, to, to serve, not say just our sexual needs, but it's, it's really important. So, I think that's kind of strange, not strange, but it just shows you where we're at and, um, how us as women now we are taking lead when it comes to being providers within a home. So that me that be when uh, that being said, it's very important for you to give your woman the proper intention. If she's the type of woman that like flowers every now and then, she like her back rub, she like her foot rub, or she like bath water red. Every now and then, you may want to do those things. Or if you started off doing those things or the little things that you did start off doing, maybe you want to finish because it's something that's very important to her and not even that, that can be, that's, that can make you a break. You. Everybody's different. And then also weak sex and consistent weak sex. And I want people to chime in on this. People are saying like they will really dump you, break up with you if you're consistently whack in the bed. So I think um, you know, we have to pay attention to that. We have to pay attention to how attentive we are with the next person and what they like, you know, not only what we like, but what they like as well. So being that Valentine's is coming up, um, maybe we need to go out our way a little bit. And we know that these holidays are man-made holidays. We're not doing it, you know, to fulfill no man-made purposes. What we're doing it for is to make sure our partners know that they are important and that we care. So, some things that you could do on Valentine's if you're not the type of guy, because today this is for guys, if you're not the type of guy to put your woman first, Valentine's is the perfect time for you to put your woman first. So, so Valentine's is nice to buy some roses, or buy some roses earlier in the week so she can enjoy them. Then that Friday, break them down, put them in some bath water, put it, decorate the bed, put some candles out. You know, do something real nice and sexy for her. Especially if you know she's that type of lady, get her some lingerie. You know what to do. Attention, shout out to, to Tony G for um, tuning in tonight. Attention, the last dude ain't pay attention in class so he felt in my class, right, Tony? That means no sex cause I'm turned off, exactly. I can't look past you being broke because you shouldn't be broke if you give in, exactly. 
She's basically saying all of them are um, turn offs. I can't see them all. But basically, she's basically saying if you can't pay attention, you shouldn't be with anybody. She also saying that if you can't, and she can't look past a man being broke. I think if you're broke, and not even that saying broke, like if he lost his job and going through a hard patch, is that a turn off? I don't think that's that's necessarily a turn off. I think how you get through it is a turn off. Just because you don't have a job, that don't mean you're not a hustler and you can't bring in some form of money. So I don't I don't think it's the point of you losing your job. I think it's what happens after you lose your job. If you just sitting down playing video games, wallowing in misery, then yeah, that's a complete turn off and you might have to go. But if you're the type that, okay, I lost my job, but I have other things to fall back on. I have a trade. I have um, other goals. I'm gonna go to school. I'm going to make sure I do extra around the house, but I got hustles where I make other other um, ends meet or other ways of making money. So always losing the job isn't a bad thing. It's how you lose the job and how you re react afterwards. So I think that's probably why, oh, but broke. The broke part, it, it is how you be broke. You gotta be broke with substance. You gotta have some type of tool or trade, or I guess if you broke, your sex can't be whack. And if you're broke, you gotta pay attention. You get what I'm saying? So I think it's all, uh, just like Tony said, it's, it's all of it. It's, Exactly. She said, she said, I'm saying he shouldn't be broke if he isn't giving me any attention because I will help him get the bag. Teamwork make the dream work. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. We're you here. Know. We're here, boo. You're right, Tony. If you don't have the if you don't shout out to Tony. Right. If you don't have time <laughs> to pay attention, then that means you shouldn't be broke because you're doing something else. You should be doing something productive with your time, which is making money or finding some type of way to make money or accomplish your goals. And within your goals, it should be making money. So I completely understand you, Tony. And the only thing that should separate you from your family or from someone that you're interest, interested in is you going out pursuing your goals and providing, which is working, whether it's the entrepreneurship, whether it's a hustle, you should be out there getting to the bag. Especially if you're, a man, not even just a man, if you're an adult, period, male or female, you should be getting to the bag. So, I can definitely see why being broke can be a turn off. Consistent weak sex is definitely a turn off, and not just a turn off, it has you starting to reflect on yourself. Like, am I doing something wrong? Is there something going on with me? So, I can't have consistent weak sex. Because I'm like, hold on, what's the problem? I am the party all by myself. So, what's going on here? So, consistent weak sex is not even just going to um, make me lose interest. It's going to have me questioning you, what you're doing, what's going on in a relationship. It's going to have me questioning a whole lot of things because to me, sex is very, very important. So this Friday, guys, make sure y'all get it popping in the bedroom or it's going to be some problems because if I don't know if people are like me, but weak sex, it makes me think, okay, now what are you doing? Especially if the, mm -hmm. if the sex is usually popping or is usually lit. It's like, what's the problem? We got to get it together here. So that is a definite reason, not even for me to lose interest. If you've been paying attention and you're not paying attention anymore, I could completely see why it could be a problem. Because again, you're going to now be asking, well, who are you paying attention to? Especially as, um, as Tony said, if you broke, you should have all the attention to pay in the world. You should be paying even more attention. You should be more attentive. You should be shit, dusting and all types of stuff. So yeah, let's just let's just get it together. Shout out to Jackie Burgos that's watching tonight. I'll have his back as long as he is looking for a job and not sitting on his butt. And not sitting on his butt. As for sex, if it's weak and I'm 
saying something and teaching what I like and lack of attention is not showing me showing me and listening no so again guys um i'm telling you that sex is important i think the sex is almost the most important thing not say the most important thing mm -hmm. money important. definitely it is, is but because i think sex and attention kind of is like neck and neck you know um and i just yeah i'm not doing either because if i start getting whack or i start lacking in certain areas you know, men don't express themselves. They don't say, oh, you're lacking or oh, what's going on? They just, boom, go on to plan B. You know, us as women, we have to use, <laughs> for one, our listening ears, and we have to be attentive and we have to approach the situation in a proper way. We just can't go out, or we can, we have this new age women that go out and do what they want, but we just can't go out and say, okay, the sex is whack, you're not paying attention, I'm gonna go screw plan B. But that's what men nine out of ten do. You and know? a lot of times men don't get theirs anyway. Cause we come most all the time. Yeah, yeah, I do. But it, this is a question I have for guys. Is is all nuts good nuts? No. Oh, I know <laughs> <laughs> that, like, yo, that's a question though. Like it's all nuts like like, okay, like he just said, you know, y'all always get y'all's. But everyone y'all get, is it a good one? Not all of Is them. every nut a good nut? Not all of them. Do I mean, you that, count every one? Yeah, you wanna know how you get a so good, that's, good nut? That's, that's, that that's, 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 so. Not all the time. All I would like way. some responses on that. <laughs> but again, when y'all lose interest, y'all, y'all go on to plan B. Nine out of ten, or y'all start being in bitches in boxes, start doing things y'all ain't supposed to do. A lot of times, us we start reflecting on ourselves and we start thinking, okay, what am I lacking? What am I doing different? Am I doing something wrong? So just the way we think, I train a thought like, and men when you think men versus women is completely different, you know, with some men, some men might. You know, start reflecting on themselves and start saying, "Hey, am I doing something wrong?" And but a lot of other men just be That's like, "Hey, fuck this! She's not giving it. me the attention that I want. Let me hop in, um, Tay and box. You know what I'm saying? So I just think we just handle things um, completely different. Um, Gregory, shout out to Gregory and shout out to Jackie for tuning in tonight. Some men stop. What? Coming us together? Oh, some men. Oh, stop putting y'all all together. Yes, some men. I didn't say all, but a <laughs> lot. A, <laughs> a lot, though. And it's a lot of times, I think, with people, y'all, you just need to own up to your shit. You know what I'm saying?